So it's been a year and a half since I first got my hands on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, Samsung's largest ever version of their premium tablet offering, which has surprisingly hogged up the majority of my device time since the beginning of 2022. In this ultra long-term review, I want to share with you some of the new experiences I've had with this tablet since my four-month review I made about a year ago, explain how it fits into my real-life day-to-day use case, and share some insight on whether or not this mega tablet it might be right for you or someone you know. Let's get started. Starting with the price. At the time of this video, Samsung has the Tab S8 Ultra discounted by $100 on their official website, but it will still run you $1,000 for the base model that I have here, which packs 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. And the official keyboard cover is sold separately at an astronomical price of $350, so I highly recommend looking on eBay or elsewhere to get one of these keyboards for closer to $100 or so, but I'll leave some links down in the description with the latest deals for whenever you may be watching this video. But what is it that makes the Tab S8 Ultra so exciting to begin with? The most exciting thing for me personally is, of course, the massive 14.6-inch display. But even more importantly, the number of things you can comfortably do increases dramatically here thanks to that added screen space. And this big screen doesn't come at too much of a detriment to the device overall thanks to its extremely thin profile, measuring in at just 5.5 millimeters of thickness, while also being surprisingly sturdy, and the magnetically attached keyboard cover has yet to show any signs of falling off no matter how hard I try. And while at first glance I thought to myself, this might be too much tablet for me and my daily needs, I have found over time that this device can handle nearly all of my tablet needs in addition to most of my computing needs. The added screen space has allowed me to effectively carry out whatever I plan to throw at it on any given day, whether that's productivity or play. The Tab S8 Ultra has been a definitive example of more screen, more productivity for me as multiple Multitasking rarely feels compromised, which can't be said for any other Samsung mobile device I've used in the past, even though they all feature the same multitasking functions from a software perspective. When using two apps at the same time, they still feel like full-sized apps side by side. Cutting one of your sides in half to incorporate a third app is still plenty serviceable, and bringing out additional apps in the small pop-up view feels a lot easier to use without having to do a lot of resizing or adjusting. Obviously, a bigger screen on any device will open up more opportunities for additional workflows, but I found myself coming back to this Tab S8 Ultra time and time again, not only because of the screen size, but because of how solid of an overall package it is inside and out. Now, I understand why it would be anyone's first inclination to think that this is a fragile device at first glance because of the sheer size of it alongside the level of thinness I touched on earlier, but not once have I ever been worried about the durability because it has held up extremely extremely well in the year and a half I've used it so far. It is very rigid, very solidly built, and this provides a lot of peace of mind when stuffing this into bags and when out on the go. The display has collected its fair share of small scratches, but that is to be expected after using anything for a year and a half, although the keyboard cover probably has a big part to do with keeping the tablet in the overall great shape it's currently in. The official keyboard cover protects both the front and back of the tablet with two separate pieces, the front piece being a nice feeling and relatively fingerprint proof cover that magnetically attaches when closed and is connected with some pins and magnets to get its power, and the arguably more important back cover stays attached at all times with a large magnet, has an incredible and accessible kickstand, and houses the S Pen with its top flap and a bump that provides some functionality with it being a holding point for your hand when using the tablet in portrait orientation, and also for a slightly better viewing angle with the tablet placed flat on a surface. This cover does add a fair amount of weight to the overall overall package, bringing the weight into laptop territory, which could understandably be of concern to those out there looking for portability more than anything else, but detaching the large keyboard flap whenever you don't need it while still having the back cover attached for its benefits is what makes this such a versatile and enjoyable device to use on a regular basis. Now, using the Tab S8 Ultra on a regular basis has obviously been quite enjoyable for me since here 
here I am a year and a half later still harping over it, but for everyone else out there, how is the average day-to-day -day user experience? Getting into the tablet is quick and easy, whether you opt for the fingerprint sensor on the right side or if you use the face recognition that gets you in right away. And once you're in, I love that the good performance and well-optimized software allow you to very quickly get into whatever it is you need to do. Typing documents, or the script I am now reading to you, is one of the most enjoyable typing experiences I've used on any mobile device in recent memory, thanks to not only the good key travel and backlighting, but the fact that this keyboard sits very low on your surface. I never get any fatigue on my hands or wrists like I often do when typing on my MacBook Pro, for example. It sounds silly, but for any prolonged or extensive typing session, I am doing it on the Tab S8 Ultra, no question. When it comes to handwriting and sketching, I have found again the Tab S8 Ultra to be my go-to device since the large screen size, thin profile, and soft touch of the S Pen to the screen makes this feel like you are writing on an oversized sheet of paper, but even better. The super low latency of the pen and lightweight matte finish is a familiar yet still immensely enjoyable S Pen experience I've yet to grow tired of. And when you need a break from work, then you have what is going to be a top tier media machine for whatever you enjoy to do. For me personally, I think this is one of the best devices for watching YouTube, as the colors of the AMOLED display, the sheer size of this thing, and the ability to easily prop it up with the back cover makes watching your content way more enjoyable. I personally watch a lot of professional disc golf coverage, which requires a keen eye for spotting flying discs, and not only does the large screen help you see everything better, but overall this tablet feels like you are putting a TV right up to your face, and it seriously makes me smile almost every time I watch anything on this immersive display. I also play the occasional game here and there, and the Tab S8 Ultra is once again a device I am often reaching for, as the powerful processor can handle anything I throw at it, and to my surprise, the keyboard cover actually has some functionality in some games, like Old School RuneScape for example, allowing me to move my camera, zoom in and out, and point and click with the trackpad. And of course, you can also connect any Bluetooth controller and play any of your mobile, cloud, or emulated games too. But the biggest takeaway for me personally, as far as the daily experience goes, is that this tablet can very much be your primary device, and it is also an equally excellent supplementary device. As far as this being a primary device, it surprised me that I often opted to take this Tab S8 Ultra with me on nearly all of my trips over the past year instead of lugging around the laptop. It's the little things, like only needing to pack a tiny power brick and still get the fastest charging speeds, and being able to attach the keyboard for a true laptop-like setup and detach it for when I only need the tablet makes this more versatile and portable for me on all of my trips, and it equally serves as a supplementary device when you need more screen space since this can easily be used as an external monitor with your laptop. Now, of course, no product is perfect, and the Tab S8 Ultra is no exception even though I have enjoyed it so much for all of the aforementioned reasons, but after so much time with it, I am fully aware of its flaws and I've learned to live with what I believe to be the two downsides of this tablet, the first of those being the battery life. The most screen time I can get out of it before needing to top it back up is around 6 hours, which can drain pretty quickly if you are using this all day for various tasks. Even in the times of very casual use, over the course of a week, it won't last more than 4 or 5 days when only using it for an hour or so each of those days. And even in simple use cases, like preparing this video's script in Samsung Notes and looking up a few things in Chrome, I was left with just 40% battery after after about 3 hours of screen time, which leaves more to be desired. I wish this tablet got closer to 8 hours of screen time to get me through a whole day of use without having to worry about charging in the middle of a work session. At least Samsung was smart enough to include their fastest 45 watt super fast charging 2.0 so I can get this 11,200 mAh battery topped up back to full in around an hour and a half, which can't be said for a lot of tablets out on the market at a fraction of this size. The other downside I found over time time is that its size, while being its primary strength, can also be its weakness in some use cases. Perhaps this is because many tablets on the market are currently much easier to hold, so a large tablet like this is bound to feel more awkward than what we are accustomed to at times. Depending on the way you are holding it, it can be cumbersome. One-handed use while holding it by a corner with its slim bezels can be very heavy, as simply holding it out in one hand for the thumbnail of this video was somewhat of a challenge in itself. 
Simply put, there is definitely some of that conventional tablet charm missing here with the added heft. But to bring it full circle, the size is definitely the selling point here with the Tab S8 Ultra, and if you're looking for a tablet that has a lot of great qualities of a laptop, in addition to being an excellent device for media, gaming, and especially writing and sketching with the S Pen, then the Tab S8 Ultra really delivers on a lot of its promises, and it's one of the most complete packages I've seen in a long time as far as Samsung mobile devices go. I know I didn't cover every aspect of this tablet in this review since there's so many similarities found here such as the micro SD card slot for expandable storage, the quad speaker setup for nice and loud audio, the cameras are pretty good, the 8GB of RAM is certainly sufficient, the software will be familiar to many Samsung users out there, and on the side note I think it's pretty cool that the software experience is the same whether I'm on my Tab S8 Ultra or my full for. Any other high-end Samsung tablet has and features these same things, but the added screen size provides true actual multitasking, and as a result, I reach for this device more than anything else when I'm in need of a large screen. Overall, the Tab S8 Ultra is still a very commendable tablet that I can still recommend here in the middle of 2023, even though a Tab S9 release is probably right around the corner. This Tab S8 is already so feature-packed that I only anticipate anticipate some under the hood upgrades for the next generation like a processor bump and maybe improved battery life, but at the reduced price you can get this tablet for today depending on where you look. It is still a worthy choice in my eyes for many months to come, and if you decide to get one, I hope you enjoyed as much as I have over the last year and a half and many more months, perhaps years, to come. What are your thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today for more long-term reviews and everything else from Samsung. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.